on the screen, we in Boston, Massachusetts, chilling, chunking deuces, playing Madden in the den, you yep, throw up the deuces. Hello, Madden Nation, S Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka the Laser Show, the Internet's most passionate show, a John Madden NFL 12 football show, 212. Uh, finally back, uh, had a little week hiatus, went away, uh, was at the Madden NFL uh, 13 Community Day. And guys, I want to get, I would love to give feedback on the events and everything that followed and everything about the game, but um, for right now I just can't. Uh, but that, I, what I can tell you about the event in general, just um, the positive energy and the excitement, you know, polluting up to the release of the game, and it's just not just the community members, but it's also the guys in-house working on the game. Uh, I did a video uh, with uh, some guys from the Dynasty League gaming site, and uh, we were just chatting about just that, that level of excitement is, is kind of like reverberates, is that even a real word, reverberate? You know, like echoes like a, a thing, so it reverberates down from, uh, from the, the, the development team down to us that gets us excited about the game, and, and that's where... That's how I feel. I, I see that excitement. I care about you know that one big word, passion, right? That that, that passion that you love something so much you just want to do it every single day. Uh, and, and what I got from it and going down and, and, and you know seeing these multiple community days on a, uh, for different games and this community day got me in, you know inspired in terms of uh, that passion, right? I want to come back here and even do a better job with the, with the Daily Show, with Twin, things like that. And because I see the passion they have for the game, and it gives me more passion for what I'm doing here. So, uh, But, uh, you know, once more details come out, we can talk more about that. But for right now, we're going to continue on uh, Raven Maniac's uh, run and gun scheme. Uh, we're talking about a full guide, full Google document guide that I'll post in the bottom of the show. Uh, you can comment down there. You'll see it there. Uh, this is today. We're going to talk about the weak guy tight twins. Uh, Nick uh, Nick is a, a mastermind, if you will, um, with uh, finding books that not many people run. And, and one of his favorite books is the Run and Gun uh, playbook. He really loves the five wide bunch formation. Uh, we're still going to get to that, so don't worry about that. But today we're going to talk about the weak guy tight twins. Uh, what's nice about this is that uh, this formation has a great halfback draw from it. Uh, which is really, really effective, and not only does it have a nice halfback draw, also has a great um, halfback counter. If you call this counter in the right situation, you can break it for a touchdown uh, nearly almost every time. It, it's got to be called right, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. But uh, let's let's uh, break it down. Let's get our zoomy zoom on. z file still has my tripod. Um, that's okay. We'll just do the manual zoomy zoom. So here's the playbook. Uh, from Nick and let's see let's see if Nick's online oh there he is uh, there's Nick right there he's saying Madden's asking for an online pass that's the Madden Secret Society guys if you guys were wondering uh, you should probably join up and sign into that but um, here we go and also a new thing guys I want to talk about real quick um, let me show you this real quick something I have just started doing a little bit more is uh, Pinterest right you guys know about Pinterest so something that uh, I want you guys to check out is Every single uh, day, I'm gonna try, uh, you know, is Monday through Friday style. I'm gonna try and get up a play um, and post it up on Pinterest, and I give a little setup, a little write up, and I want you to, you know, give your feedback. You can sign in, you can repin it, recomment, things like that. So the play that we're talking about today um, is the Texan out and up, and this is a play that's found in the Gun Doubles formation from the Te Houston Texans playbook. Um, real quick, I want to show you. It's a setup, is a snap and go. What's so effective about it? You can see that little red dot right there. I should probably you know, put it over there on that red line right there. Um, but what's so effective about it is you got those two out and up routes in the seam and by the tight end. Those are amazing user catch routes. And not to mention the outside uh, streaks are also very effective. This is a very difficult play for people to defend. Uh, you have four user catch options, which uh, makes this one of the harder plays uh, in the game really to stop uh, just because of the fact that you have four great user catch options. So that, that segment right there is going to be called Plays Worth Trying. So we're going to try, uh, we're going to post some plays there. Uh, also get a little more interactive on VU, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but let's get back to the zoomy zoom, uh, and let's get back to the running good guide. So here is his base play. He comes out in the halfback counter, verse man. He runs the play as verse zone. He takes the fall off wide receiver and motions it right snap when he passes the tight end. So uh, let's grab hold that. Uh, let's take a look ski. 
Um, um, my controller. Not connecting. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to plug it in and connect it to the USB cord, power cord, and then it recognizes. Gotcha. So, oh, I, you know, I could just call this. So against man, he's saying run as is, and then just kick right and get out wide and go. As you see, it's a pretty effective run um, when you just run that way. Now, if you uh, now, for example, if you're facing zone, um, let's take a look ski here counter. If you're facing zone. He recommends the motion gram snap when it gets to the tight end right there. Uh, you get the extra blocker and then you kick out wide and then you have paging Dr. Sproles and then you computer the sideline. What I'm also going to tell you about this run play is that against man, I like the uh, playmaker left. And it's very important. I snap Graham right here, right there. I snap him. Uh, he sometimes will help kick and pick up that D end for me. Uh, if not, though, he gets in. And as you can see, look at that. Look at the blocking you get. I'm going to go back to instant replay. This works against man. This works against zone. I'm trying to get him to kick in there. But if not, but see how you have those three wall, th three guys there going to block your uh, defenders? 73, you know, he lets the weak side guy come in. But what he does a good job of is see, you see how he runs and it kind of like fades up field right there. He doesn't go like a deliberate cut. That's actually a pretty important thing because he helps to protect against any defender shooting the gap, uh, which I really love to have there. So as you can see, he shoots that gap, fires in there, and gets in. It's off to the races uh, with, uh, with that defender. So let me show you that one more time. I have motion Graham snap right about there. See, I'm trying to get him to pick that guy up. And then as you can see, I get a nice seal off the edge. And then Dwight Freeney chasing down Dr. Sproles. Ugh, wasn't a computer. Only Farrells can pull that off, I guess. Um, so let me show you again against man-to-man. -man. Against man-to-man, -man, you're just kind of clearing that guy out. So against man-to-man, -man, you're, trying, you're, mo you're using the motion to clear out that defender on that far side. So you get him, just get him going to get him inside. Otherwise, he can cause some noise out there uh, that we don't like. So when you see here, watch this. Uh, when the motion... We get that. We get the man defender. We get him kicked inside, which allows. And as you can see, Grand there actually picked up the DN that time, and our offensive lineman picked up the smaller cornerback, uh, uh, and that allowed us the space to kick out wide here uh, for a very, very nice gain. A little yacht. I want to try this if I put Collins over here. What's this look like? It's kind of similar just to the counter from. Right? What if I motion? Collins over here, and he's going to kick, he's going to kick, he's going to kick, get out there. Alright, so that's the weak guy, tight twins, halfback counter. Uh, his run audible down is a halfback dive for against man, motion far left wide receiver all the way to the right and snap when he passes the tight end. So this is what it looks like against man, you motion all the way over here, and then you use that space and get out wide. Against zone, he snaps between inside the wide receiver and left tackle. Again, you're doing that just to get that extra defender. This is similar, I mean, to the halfback draw that you could use from this formation, but all it's going to do is uh, it's just a quicker run than the halfback draw. Dr. Sproles, baby. Dr. Sproles. Um, let's take a look at the next play we talk about is the spacing play. It's our quick audible up. He streaks uh, the B receiver, which is Colston. Um, streak, streak B, slant in X, which is square. And A, so those two got slanted in and in. Streak, streak B, drag. So that setup one is this. I would probably block Sproles as well. Um, I like that setup. You get a crossing pattern and a, and a vertical route that you could catch. And his next one is streak B, streak B, drag X, motion X, and left, and snap before he gets set. Okay. I'd probably place Higgins on an out. Slant out and then drag him and then motion him out and then that just beats man to man coverage. Bang! Inside release there, as you can see. Very, very effective right there. That's very effective. Um, the inside release. Um, motion, motion, motions. So, great. I'm just messing around right now. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Graham. So that's spacing. Another play that he didn't mention that I like is the quick the play action audible. I have Street Colston. 
I would maybe place Higgins on a slant out, maybe streak streak Higgins, maybe on slant, something like that, slant out probably. Um, I'm going to block Dr. Sproles. This route right here I love is this route by Jimmy Graham. If there's no bump, that's a great route, um, especially a guy with great height. You just throw a pass lead up, um, and that's a very difficult route to defend. As you can see, he just it takes a nice angle, and he gets a great animation. Um, it's a great, great little pass, especially to a guy that has a lot of height like Jimmy Graham. Make sure if you're going to run this play, you have a guy that's probably, I'd say, at least 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, um, I really want a guy that's like 6'4". I put Jimmy Graham there uh, because I really like his height. What's also nice about this play, too, is this route by the fullback is, is very tough. You'll see he takes a hard cut, and Jeb Call is the guy you want to run with it. Because he takes a little while to get going, but you want me to put a guy there, a little more ag agility, uh, just a better option there overall. Um, the next play we can talk about here is, is a quick little right mesh, and this is for zone. What you can do is streak just the uh, Jimmy Graham. You're going to see you're going to have that uh, deep corner, uh, deep corner route um, in combination with uh, a streak. It's going to really help to open up. I'd probably block both those guys. It's going to help to open up uh, the deep corner route, and Dwight Freeney said, No, sir, I'm a man. I'm 40. Uh, here we go again. And helps open up that deep corner route, and you just try and squeeze that route in there against that zone. Um, one more time. There we go. That's what we're looking for, as you can see. Against that zone coverage, we flood that side corner zone there uh, and really get out wide. Halfback draw. Uh, this is an extra run play, he says. Um, I would probably more likely come out in the halfback draw more so. Uh, but the way I run the halfback draw is I always play make the run left. And I snap it him right here. Oh. I snap him right there. And then I kind of just read the run and go from there. I snap it there uh, because I think I get better I think I get a better overall run. So here's again I get better blocking in that situation there. I can cut in there. Um, and then I try to find space. So that's how uh, we I run it. That's how Raven runs it. It's a great formation. I definitely recommend you checking it out. Uh, but for right now, uh, guys show two twelve we are focusing on the Raven Maniac running good offensive playbook. And uh, for right now, guys, as always, we are changing the Madden community. We are doing it one snap at a time. Hello, Madden Nation. S Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your head. It is not my day. But it is the Madden, AKA the Laser Show.